Dinosaurs are cool. You know what else is cool? Making your own dinosaur parks and synapsid parks and fish parks and aquatic reptile parks. Yeah, I just like making parks for dead things. And you know what you can do that very well in? Jurassic World Evolution 2. Right, so they just came out with one very cool DLC. Now, usually in this game, all the DLCs relatively kind of like follow a the theme, whether it's like the time period the animals are from or following like certain movies. So like there was a Biosyn or a Dominion and all these like Gamp Cretaceous stuff. But what I found really interesting is the fact that we got an entire pack dedicated to marine species. Now, yes, I've reported on this on like the news on it before, and I should hopefully have a video out on this by now of me kind of like going through and making the park that you're seeing on the screen right now. I really like this. Now, take with a grain of salt everything I say because I think everything is cool. You could throw me Aww. dinosaur dung on a silver platter and I think that's the coolest thing since sliced bread. But when I say that Frontier is actually delivered on giving us four unique animals, all pertaining to like the lagoons and stuff, I am a very happy camper. Cretaceous camper. <laughs> now let's talk about the DLC and let's talk about where JWE2 is right now. This sort of acts as a pseudo review for the entire game as it stands right now, but mostly focusing on the latest DLC that came out. Let's talk about the animals first. Now already I think everyone cares about the Archelon the most, or Archelon, however you pronounce it. It's definitely like the showstopper in here. It's the first turtle that we're getting, which is super cool. Uh, but yeah, they're one of the first fully aquatic animals that you can actually have go on these new aquatic rocks, which is really, really awesome. All their skins, all their colors look pretty cool, and the model's really awesome as well. It's somewhat very leaning much into the paleo-accurate versions, which I always am super happy to see Jurassic World Evolution 2 kind of leaning on. We'll talk a little bit more on that on the Dunkleosteus in a bit, but the Archelon is pretty cool. Beyond that, we also have the Nothosaurus. These guys are weird looking dudes. Oh my gosh, they look kind of like a mess between a plesiosaur and some kind of snake viper looking thing. Either way, these guys are super cool. I love the fact that they can actually go on land. They just look like the goofiest little guys. Definitely my personal favorite in this pack. We also get the very big, very gargantuan Shonisaurus. It's a ichthyosaur, which is actually one of the biggest ichthyosaurus. Can I get another take on that? It is actually one of the largest ichthyosaurs to have ever lived, which is so cool because we have the normal ichthyosaur, which is very adorable, super happy about that one. But we also get one of the biggest ones, super awesome, super cool. Again, such cool patterns on this guy. I'm a little salty that the mod that Mega Game and Rex Trippy and I have worked on is now kind of obsolete, but maybe we'll turn that into like a new skin or something, I don't know. And last but not least, we have the Dunkleosteus. Oh my gosh. The Dunk. What's, What's my, my name? name? Dunkalosteus. Yeah, these guys are super cool. I just I just love any fish that we can get. And the Dunkalosteus is probably one of the coolest ones that we've gotten in a pack. Uh, really, really cool. Unfortunately, I'm just assuming that Frontier already developed this guy before the Dunkalosteus paper came out. Uh, which kind of revealed that the Dunkalosteus had a much shorter body than previously imagined. Uh, but still, it's cool to see, like, you know, the Jurassic-inspired entities pop up, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, for me, I always prefer, like, paleo-forward, paleo-accurate animals. But it's still cool that we got these guys, period. Uh, always awesome to see that. Now, that's really it for all the animals that we got. No land ones, which is a bit of a shame, but I'm not really too... I mean, it's the marine species pack, guys. But we should also talk about the other cool thing that was added in this pack. It's that underwater, f like observatory i guess i don't know i'm getting very big jurassic park the game vibes from here i think that's really cool now obviously it's just a reskin of the other remote viewing galleries i'm not really too upset by that i think it's still kind of cool there is this weird glitch that happens when if you load into a game it bumps it to the top of the water which I think Frontier should implement into like, you know, a different version of it. Now, hear me out. Obviously, it's not gonna give you the best view of your tanks, but I still think that it would be a welcome addition. I mean, I'm just looking at it from the fact that if you have like a Mosasaurus exhibit or Lagoon or something like that, and you could actually sit inside of that dome and see the Mosasaurus jump out of the water, eat a shark, 
whatever it does. That would be so awesome to have. But of course, it's just another silly Frontier glitch. So what do I know? Now, I guess this update also added a whole bunch of other awesome things that I really haven't had the time to check out for myself because I'm more of a sandbox player. Some of this stuff kind of does apply though. So I think that's kind of cool. Right, so they added favorite systems to skins, which I think is super awesome. I always hated that part of JWE, not the skin system itself, but just how like it's not user friendly. I think that this is gonna be such a welcome change. Granted, it's there right now. You guys have already played with it. In fact, I don't even know who this video is for. Who are you? But yeah, I think that's just gonna be super helpful, especially if I'm planning out a park beforehand and I wanna say, hey, I want all red dinosaurs in here. I could just go through the species viewer, start favoriting red dinosaurs, favoriting like all the color morphs that look super cool and just let them out into my park without even thinking about it. There's also a custom challenge mode. I think that's cool. Maybe some people out there who are better at JWE than I am can make custom maps for like all the bigger YouTubers than me who really dabble in JWE and start to do cool stuff with that. I think that's kind of cool. Right, well, that's more stuff on the update than anything else, not really the marine species pack. Do I think it's worth the money i mean hell if you like looking at dinosaurs the way that i see it okay i like to split it out in money because i'm always thinking about money if you're gonna get at least i don't know five hours of enjoyment out of this pack you're looking to pay about two bucks per hour that you enjoy the pack at i don't know i i think very monetarily now of course these dlcs go on sale all the time in fact i'm just gonna open the store right now and see what's on sale because usually the stuff yeah i'm looking at it it's like some of this stuff is half off all of these things are pretty much half off so yeah you can get this stuff for cheap and i think that is very much worth it if you guys want oh it's only eight bucks okay <laughs> well never mind right well my argument still kind of stands I would say wait for a sale because you're only getting four dinosaurs and two new scenery items. I don't really think that's worth it from my perspective. Granted, I come from the silly zoo game. I have over a hundred pieces that I'm able to use in my game and four animals, sometimes even five to go alongside that. But if you like these animals, if you like building those lagoons, then go try it out. I mean, I really don't know what else enjoyment I could squeeze out of JWE. I enjoyed making my park, don't get me wrong, you guys. I hope you guys like that video. But, I don't know. It's just not my price point. But if it's worth it to you, then by all means, go check it out. No, I think most of the cool things of JWE come from the free updates. Really, when I was playing on that map, you guys saw just how excited I was to discover all these new things that the game has added over the course of a year or two that I had no idea about. Now, of course, there's still some stuff out there that really stretches me. Uh, the fact that we have a fence tool, but no like guest fences. What if I just want to make a hedge? Why don't we have a hedge tool? Like what if I want to make my park actually look good and not some like, you know, concrete hellscape. The fact that the game is so lacking on real park elements takes the park builder out of this. It's just an enclosure builder, which is totally fine for what JWE is. I think it's a very, very great game. Listen, how many hours do I even have in this right now? Let me scroll up. Yeah, I've played this game for 125 hours. I would like to say I have a good handle on the game. I think what could bring me back in is a lot more decoration, a lot more focus on guests. Where are the benches? Where are the trash cans? Where are the small decorative fences? I can't make another damn fence out of those big blocky concrete pieces again. I need just a little bit more. But I still had a great time. No, yeah, of course, I. you guys kind of saw me. I didn't want to do commentary for the entire speed build or any of that stuff because I very much felt like it was a personal experience for me to play the game again, and it was fantastic. I had the time of my life, but it's still a game that could go a little bit further for me, but maybe it's as far along as it needs to be for you. If you have not checked out this game yet, please go check it out. It's a great game. Please, don't get me wrong. I had the time of my life playing through the career. They have all like your favorite voice actors, except for some notable ones, uh, but it's still really, really fun just to be able to go through the entire game. 
and kind of live out the experiences of Jurassic Park, of Jurassic World, all that stuff. So yeah, I would honestly give the Marine Species Pack a $8 out of my wallet. Just kidding, of course, Frontier gave the key to me. Uh, I really appreciate them for that, don't get me wrong. I really, really, really had a great time playing JWE again. Hey, just an interrupting leaf here. Uh, if I enjoyed the game, I'm pretty sure you will too. That's right, we're doing a giveaway for a key to Jurassic World Evolution. Please enter down below Dino DNA for your chance to win. That is Dino DNA, all one word. That's the only way I will pick it up. That's the only way you could enter this. You can only enter once, yada, yada, yada. You have to be subscribed to enter. I think that's really it. Yeah, that's it. All right, on with the video. Uh, really, really fun game. Please, please, if you have not had the chance to go check it out, go try it. It's fun. And if you already have, pop back in. No matter how long it's been since you last played JWE, there's definitely a new thing in here that you guys should definitely check out. With all that being said though, thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you guys do want to see more somewhat JWE content in the future, definitely do let me know. It's a game that really isn't on the top of my list, but I had a great time making this today. I had a great time making that speed build, not really a speed build, uh, park build, really. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by. Peace.